Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss DNA protein interaction. Before this, we have studied a lot on enzyme ligand interaction in which the ligand molecule was small molecule. But today we will discuss the docking studies of DNA and protein, and both are macromolecules. But before this, I would like to mention that. In our previous video, we studied that uh, how we can synthesize small molecules and their uh, different scaffolds and uh, pharmacophores. So, on the basis of pharmacophores or uh, scaffold modeling through Swiss similarity, we can build analogs. Uh, but uh, in that video, we uh, told you that we can copy this small molecule, go to the Discovery Studio visualizer, and then we will get Smiley's file but uh, my teacher corrected me and i am thankful to him and uh, dr umar rashid that he told me that we can um, select this one this small molecule and then we can go to edit and then copy as and smiley's file so in this way we can copy this uh, smiley's file of this small molecule and we can go to paste and switch similarity or other uh, window or where we need it so this was the correction I, I, I mentioned here. Now <clears throat> we will go to the uh, macromolecules. So first we will uh, study that how we can synthesize our macromolecules or how we can retrieve from different databases. So if in, in case of proteins, we already discussed in our previous uh, videos that uh, we can retrieve it from PDB. Uh, which is protein data bank and uh, let, let's suppose we need this. 6 VJT we can enter here the ID of that uh, macromolecule or we can also enter the ID or uh, name like here I will put 6 VJT then it will open uh, this uh, so this will open it so this is our antibody of uh, hepatitis B surface antigen and uh, we will get this macromolecule or protein by downloading this file so download in the form of pdb format we don't need faster sequence we can get faster sequence if we need it so from here we will get pdb file and this is our protein or macromolecule which is now open in discovery studio visualizer which is our default browser for macromolecules we made it so these are the protein structure and these are the ligand molecules, small molecule ligand and the water molecules which are present which are in red dots. So we can uh, we can uh, build this structure or we can make structure from here in this way we can uh, remove water molecules or the other ligands. So it will be like this only now we have only protein structures which are only peptide chains so these are the only peptide chains that we have so this is our antibody so in case of uh, dna here let's suppose this is our single stranded dna which i want to uh, dock with that protein antibody uh, before this uh, I, will I will show you that how we can build this structure so we will go to let's suppose I am making it from beginning so we will go to file new molecular window go to macromolecule and in macromolecule now we are going to build build and edit nucleic acid build and edit protein okay we can go to carry on online database and uh, prepare protein so we can go all these but uh, here I am going to build and edit nucleic acid so for nucleic acid one thing uh, we should mention here that uh, we are going to create it from 5 to 3 prime end so it will go to 5 to 3 prime end selected from here it is single stranded duplex double stranded DNA triplet triple stranded or single stranded RNA or DNA RNA duplex so we can build all these kind of structures but here I need a single stranded DNA 
and then confirmation if we know the confirmation of our single stranded dna or double stranded like it is uh, a type of helix b type of helix or z type of helix so we should mention here that it is uh, what what kind of helix it is and then we will select from here the nucleotides of this dna a c g t r u for rna so we can add there uh, these sequence in, in sequence we can add these nucleotides in sequence and uh, also we can specify from here so we can also write here or we can paste here the sequence of our nucleotide like here we have a c g g g c c a t so now this is our five prime and two three prime and nucleotide sequence and we can also build here so now it is our single standard dna so i told you that we can also uh, take here so we can also now i am going to add further sequence by taking these nucleotides okay we can we can also modify the sugar if it is deoxyribose sugar it is ribose sugar or it is log ribose or methoxyribose so we can take we can cap five prime end so capping or ligate so we have different options for these okay now we have this structure and uh, i am going to make it in different display style so we can change the display style of our nucleic acid so here i have we can also we can further change it now this is another uh, style of our nucleic acid and uh, these are other options we can choose from here the style of our nucleic acid okay so now this is our uh, dna macromolecule and uh, here is our protein now we will save these files in the form of pdb or mol2 file and uh, then here we will save as save as from here we have option of cyber mol2 file or we have an option of protein data bank file so these two files so we will go to we will save these files and then we will move to moe so here i have already run this uh, docking of this protein and dna so this is our dna which we made it ligand and the protein these are the residues which are going to interact with the that ligand and they are going to interact in different regions and these regions are represented with the energy values so here these energy values represents that where the interaction is most suitable like here the first for first region it is minus 66.81 energy values kilocalories per mole that as represents the energy values minus 65 minus 61 so these are the energy values and these energy values and these here we get the interaction to compute and then we can go to the interaction ligand interactions like here <coughs> so in this way we get the interaction we can save this file and then we will go to our like here i am going to show you that uh, here i have uh, written here that this is our sequence of the nucleic acid and this is our protein with two chains and this is the 60 minus 65.5 kilocalories per mole energy and when it binds here it is minus 64 when it binds here it is minus 66.8 and when it binds here it is minus 65.8 so these are the different poses uh, where it this protein can bind and it gives different energy values and the we can select that where it gives best energy value for our protein so this is our single stranded and now so this is our 
so this is our protein and uh, this pose in this pose it is going to bind here so this protein is going to bind here we can change the uh, format of protein so this is the H chain and this is the L chain which is going to bind here and uh, we can show it like we can represent here we can rotate and then we can check that how it is going to bind and uh, we can also modify this chain in different uh, display styles like here I am going to change it now this is our protein two chains and this is our uh, DNA that is going to bind so this is our ligand so we can make its style display style and uh, I am going to make it CPK style okay now this is our DNA which is going to bind with that protein which is antibody okay now we are going to make interactions then we will go to uh, receptor ligand interaction and in ligand interaction we will get this type of interactions so here so here these are the amino acid residues that are going to interact with these nucleotides so these interactions are shown here and uh, we can check these interactions like these are hydrogen bonds with these amino acids like here it is histidine 32 that is going to bind here then arginine 98 and uh, in our previous videos we already uh, in discovery studio visualizer tutorials i have already discussed that how we can go to uh, check the interactions with amino acid residues and also we can label these amino acids so here we have labeled these amino acids so in this way we will get the dna protein interaction and uh, we can uh, make different poses of our protein dna interaction and uh, like here i have shown that these are they can bind with different dna uh, surface and uh, with different energy values and these are the interactions with the amino acid residues so these are the amino acid residues that are going to interact with the nitrogenous bases so today it is uh, for dna protein interaction so in our next video we will come with uh, some other interesting tools of the discovery studio visualizer or dna protein interaction